night. Hello lovely people. I'm Debs. This is Debs with This Welcome. This is my spring summer wardrobe edit part one. The maybe edition. So this week I got down from the loft my three boxes of summer clothes. I know it's a lot of clothes and the only way that I could kind of get my head around it um, was to try on each item and try and put them into a definitely yes, definitely no or a maybe pile. My Me May, pl May pledge this year is to enjoy and learn from my Me Made clothes. And I'm quite good at kind of enjoying from it, but I'm quite keen that I try and kind of crystallise the lessons that my wardrobe choices are teaching me. And I think I know quite a lot of them, but I just kind of wanted them to feel a bit more maybe even written down, I don't know, like that, that I kind of really understand what I'm doing. So I should give you an example. I am wearing currently a Sally jumpsuit by the Closet, Closet Core patterns. This is a tried and true for me, I love this. Um, and the thing I love about it is it's got this deep V neck, which gives me quite a lot of skin show here. It's got a slightly grown on shoulder, which doesn't, it's not too dropped, so I don't end up kind of feeling sloppy and it comes in at the waist. Um, it's extremely comfortable, it's made in stretch fabric, so there's lots of pluses about it, but the silhouette part of things is kind of this. So what I wanted to do, I've got a pile of maybe things, and I should tell you how much I love you, I have ironed my maybes, which would never happen, would never happen. And some of the reasons that some of these are in the maybe pile is because they require kind of careful ironing before they're worn. And I am really not a like routine, careful ironing type of a person don't have it in me so we kind of have to recognize that and embrace it and kind of go with it don't we so the plan is I'm going to try on each of these I'm going to do a little twirl and I'm going to talk about them I will probably forget the mic at some points I will probably get myself a bit lost but we'll see how it goes and if this is something that you're liking please do the like subscribe and let me know down below if this is something that appeals or is helpful for you or how do you edit your wardrobe? How do you go through the things? Um, yeah, so we'll crack on. So the first is the Megan Nielsen Matilda dress. So this is made in a viscose linen, but it's fairly kind of medium weight, I would say. It's nice and soft. Um, it has that lovely V-neck, the epaulettes, the pockets. I've made it really nicely. Um, it has lots of the shape things that I like. It has that grown on sleeve. It has a fitted waist. It has a flared skirt. But I just don't reach for it. And I don't know why. My only thought is that because it's quite heavy, I don't know whether by the time it gets to a time when I'm going to wear, you know, it's warm enough to not wear any sleeves, that actually then it feels too warm perhaps. But then it should be perfect for this time of year, shouldn't it? So I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I need to do to this. I think it's probably just practicing wearing it. I have worn it with wedges. I've worn it with boots, actually. I've worn it with boots with a polar neck under under the, in the winter and the autumn. So whether it's just in the wrong bit of my wardrobe, I don't know. Um, but I have worn it with clogs uh, and I've worn it with pumps, but I didn't like it with pumps, I think, because of the length of the skirt. I don't really like when having a longer skirt and then having a like a pump, like trainer type pump on as opposed to a, um, a flat shoe. So that is number one. Um, it even has, look, it has lovely buttons and it has a Deb made label. There's a little twin set, which is the Clio skirt by Made by Ray, I think, which has a flat front and an elasticated back and pockets. And I think this is the same kind of thing. It's the length of the skirt that's causing me issues. And I just feel a bit dowdy in it. I really love the fabric. The fabric's a Macauer quilting cotton, so it's kind of a heavier weight. Um, and I made like use of every last little scrap and I pieced together this Sarah Kirkston morning glory top which you can wear either way around I couldn't find my tank top so I didn't put it the other way around for you but you can like tie it at the front and I often wear it like that and over a tank top but I didn't wear it last summer at all and I'm not and I'm not sure why um and then you have the thing don't you about weather so if I'm not going to wear this anymore do I send it I mean, it's well made. It's nicely finished inside. There isn't anything, you know, there's no raw edges. It's pretty French seamed, actually. Um, so I could quite happily send it to somewhere. But it's just then I really love the fabric. So do I keep the it's hand, hand sewn the hem? Um, do I keep the fabric and make something out of it and let it sit in a refashion pile? 
or do I let it go and say bye bye? But I just would be really sad. I kind of that's another one that I kind of want to give another chance to, um, and really try and wear it this year. Maybe if I was to make um like a red and white tank or a, or a like a navy another navy tank. So my navy tank is like a pieced one. It's like bits and pieces of something that was left over. So it isn't like it's not nice enough to wear out. Um, and I think that's some of the problem is that I've got things that I'm kind of making do with. Um, because they're not good enough to for somebody else to use in a in a way that they would pay for, and they're not kind of rubbish enough to be recycled, but they're kind of that in between way, and then I get stuck with them. And then items like that, I don't think make you feel so shiny. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so that was the next one. Now this is the Fiber Mood. I think it's the Fiber Mood Mindy. It has square neck, which I really like, and a facing. You can put an elastic in these sleeves, but I didn't. I left mine drapey. And the main issue with this is actually the fabric. It's because it's made of this viscose, which creases horribly, um, like really horribly. Well, you can see. So it was ironed, and then I just laid it in the pile while I just changed the camera, and it's already it's creased. So this is not... This was fabric that was bought to make something for my sister, and it, that didn't fit her either, so it's maybe just not very well... Boded. So I could reuse the bottom part of this as there's material there that I could reuse. But again, whatever I make from it will have the same issue, won't it? It will crease like the devil and I won't want to be ironing it to wear it. I did wear this. I think I wore this twice last summer, actually. So I don't know. I just I can't keep everything because there isn't enough room for everything. Number four is the Closet Core Cali. Now, I have another version of this which has been um, donated already. I do need a version of this because it is a really useful top for me. This one escapes. This one was made in 2017, I think, or 2018. Um, so five years, five or six years old. It gets worn at least a couple of times every summer, but that's kind of all. But And I wear it because it's kind of, it's got, um, it's like a stretch cotton. So it's got a little bit of stretch in it. I've bias bound the hem with a red bias tape but that needs mending if it's going to go anywhere else and it's got nice little red buttons and I just when I put it on I really like how it looks but it it needed that forward shoulder adjustment and I didn't do it on this one so I'm constantly kind of messing with it but again it's like so if that's going to go somewhere I need to I'll show you shall I show you I'll show you Matt so look when I I mean it was obviously I wasn't a very experienced sewer at the time and I haven't realized that that's not going to work as a thing. I've sewn it from the outside with a fixed distance instead of doing it from nowadays, I would hand sew the inside of that. But I mean, I can do that. I can unpick that and sort that out. But it's kind of, yeah, it's probably more effort than I want to spend on something I'm not going to keep. And that's the problem, isn't it? But it definitely needs to be done if it's going to someone else. So I might just sit down and do that one evening. It'll take me like 10 minutes, won't it? So Maybe that one will get donated, get fixed, and then get donated. Number five is this Zadie. Now, I know the Zadie is the darling of the sewing world. I cannot get this pattern to fit me well. Um, you can see from the twirl, I have taken the length out of the bodice that I always need, but it just feels really oversized. And maybe what I just needed to do was to completely downsize on it. Maybe it is all just too... Um, like boingy the fabric and too big on me um it's really comfortable it you know it does what it says on the tin I just don't like I don't feel wonderful when I wear it and and I just don't think my life is too short to wear clothes that don't make me feel wonderful should we say that all of the spring jumpsuit by soul of patterns um I've made lots of copies of the jumpsuit version um well, she doesn't love the pattern that's a jumpsuit. And I've made lots and lots of those. So I was a tester for this. You can also do it um, with a gathered skirt. But I just felt that would be a bit kind of twee for me. Um, this was made, I don't remember if I actually wore it. It was made for an event, but I think it was around 2020. So maybe it didn't happen. Um, the main issue with this, you can see from the twirl I'm trying to show you, is that it has this kind of fitted waistband and I think mine needed to come up a bit and I don't think I've I've kind of realized that that's what needs to happen and whether I need to do a length and shorten here or whether I just need to make a smaller sized bodice piece and um, I did make amendments to this and I made adjustments to my jumpsuit patterns each time I've worn it I've 
brought things kind of up a little bit, but I don't I don't seem to have done it for this. Whether I just made it as the pattern because it was a test, because that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I don't know. But and this is another one that's made of a slightly cheap viscose that creases um fairly badly. But you know, if I was somebody oh, if I was somebody who went to you know, went out a lot, went to the, you know, I don't know, went to events or went and did things, it would be fine, wouldn't it? But I'm not really. It painly wants to go, that one, doesn't it? So, yeah, I think that one's going to go. Um, it has a Hello Lovely, which are my, you can kind of tell sometimes which year I've made things by what kind of um, uh, tag they've got in. And this is my version of um, the strappy version of the Nina Lee Carmel jumpsuit. How could I forget that? That's the name of my mother-in-law, bless her. Um, she's a very lovely mother-in-law. Um, so this, I made another version of this, which has got the V-neck in that uh, stalk marabou fabric. We don't really like that. This was my toile version, which kept, was made in a fabric that came from Lovely Manjit at um, Lucky Fashion Jewsby. I think the main problem with this is the colour is not good for me. Um, and I quite like the swishiness. I've tried to indicate in the picture that I think if I was to do a little buster on this bodice, I think it would fit me much better and, and it would kind of be a better shape for me, I think. So this is my, that's my like smallest part is my kind of underbust. Um, so when things kind of nip in there, I always feel that that kind of gives me a good shape or whatever. I mean, I know it's all nonsense, isn't it? But I just feel... I feel better in that state. I am experimenting with lots of different shapes. I'm experimenting with different shapes of trousers. I'm experimenting with different styles of things. So it may be that, you know, I don't need to change that. But I'm just not sure. I don't think the colours are for me. And if this one goes again, it's got a little um, mend that needs to happen. It's got a little miss stitch it also doesn't have completely straight hems so let me know if you donate things do you try and make them kind of a1 before you donate them or do you just go with it let me now know this is a no nine five i can't remember i'll put it here um this was again it's from 2018 it was from when i just run my marathon um maybe 2019 anyway somewhere around then um it's made in a sea salt twill which is just really nice fabric i've lined it with cotton lawn um and i've made the collots version um i loved this when i first made it and putting it on today i still do love it it's a little bit snug but so this is the next next category so i have things in my wardrobe that get a buy because i nearly fit into them now i don't tend to do this if something really is too small it goes because i think i think I don't want clothes that make me feel bad. I don't want trousers that hurt. I like things that fit me and I have the skills to make things that fit me. So, you know, we may as well do it and I have plenty of fabric to go at. Um, this has stayed, I think just because I feel very me-like in it, it's kind of, it's got enough of a, like I love the geometric print. I love the colours. I love the fact that it's well finished. I love the princess line, I think is a really nice shape um, and it fits really well. So I kind of, I think this one is going to stay just because it makes my heart happy. Um, but there you go. This is the Grain Line Scout Tee, I think, from about a metre of um, a really soft Tana lawn. Now, this is was the first shirt I made for my husband, and it doesn't fit him at all, um, which is really quite sad. That's not true. It does fit him in parts, but just not well enough, really. But I really like the fabric, so I made this out of it. The problem with this is it isn't very me. It's... I mean, it is really pretty and I love the colours and I love the little bits of pink and the teal. And I think it's the colours are really nice. It's just a bit kind of twee for me, I think. If I wear it and I wear it with my leather jacket and my boots, it kind of, I kind of get away with it, I think. And I sometimes wear it with my Nelly joggers, which are like a kind of tealy green colour. But I just, this is one that, this I do this every year with this top and and it gets rescued. The other thing is it's got this really nice scoop neck, which again is a really nice depth on me. So I think that's probably what saves it. And it's, you know, it's beautiful fabric. So my, the makes that I like often have beautiful fabric. They're well made and they fit me. Um, the ones I struggle with are the ones that don't satisfy some of those criteria. I'm going to put in what the dining room currently looks like because there are clothes literally everywhere and the only ones that are ironed and hung up are the ones that I'm not quite sure about which is 
which is ridiculous and I'm and I'm holding you lot responsible so I am going to iron some of the ones that I'm definitely going to keep um and there will be another section to this video coming shortly so the I'm not going to film it today though I've had enough now um so I'm I'm going to do two other sections so the next section is going to be um, the kind of real favorite one. So when I unpacked things, there were things that like literally took my breath away or I felt so happy to see again. So I wanted to kind of show you kind of 10 of those. Um, and then I have some ready to wear pieces, which every year, despite the fact that I could make them, I could make them, they kind of stay in my wardrobe. Um, and I wanted to see what I could learn from those pieces. So that's me. That's part one, the maybes of the spring summer edit 2023. If this is something that you've enjoyed, please do the like and subscribe. Right. That's me. Thank you very much for watching. Please make a comment down below if there's something that you want to say. Uh, I'm happy to take any advice or information or pointers or fitting or any of that stuff. Go on, go for it. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world, you are finding time to rest and replenish and do some making if that's something that brings you joy. Uh, and I shall say bye bye for now. God bless. Take care. And a little puppy dog. So this box is nose. This is going definitely. These ones are staying. This one, this one, and this one. And this is my maybe box. So I decided to concentrate on one thing at a time. So this, the maybe box, is going to get sorted first of all. Mm -hmm.